Another very powerful feature inside of the Prodigy MP is the input failover redundant actions that you can have it automated. Well, it's very different if you have to get rid of the problem of an entire input port, such as, for example, the entire MADI port should be, should be substituted with a backup port, which can be another MADI or which can be a Dante feed or a Vena feed. In that case, we can offer the EARS technology, enhance automatic redundancy switching. So you get to the settings, you get to EARS, and you can activate EARS on every uh, multi-channel input. So, for example, if you want to activate the EARS on MADI 1, then you simply have to define which is another source which can substitute simultaneously all the 64 input channel with another bunch of 64 channels and then can be decided then can be decided among the availability of a trigger channel which is detecting on channel 64 meaning the last channel of the entire batch of the input which can be a pilot tone or which can be the BLDS an artificial signal designed by direct out BLDS stands for buffer loop detection system in order to be able to detect in, within one sample a buffer loop condition. For example, if you have a, a DAW which is in a loop condition, you don't lose audio because you still have audio, but the audio is not the one you want. You might have something like g -g 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 -g. So in that case, the BLDS is capable to understand that the loop condition within one sample, immediately detecting and selecting the uh, backup uh, condition. Recently, triggered by the request of the EBU for the Eurovision Song Contest, we decided to um, also activate the disaster recovery. So you can have a third source as a backup. So you can have main backup and disaster recovery. So you can have a parallel play out from the playback system, 64 channel from main, 64 channel as a backup, and another 64 channel as a disaster recovery, just to have a super, super redundant situation. That's ears. And then this is what you want to use when you want to have a complete substitution of the entire input port. In the next tutorial or in the next video, we will, uh, we will have a look at the selected you know, channel or on a per channel redundancy action represented by the input managers.